Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friday Morning Maths, which if we were in school right now, we would be having our times table rock stars. So in true fashion of a Friday morning, we're going to have our times table rock stars lesson. So just to start the lesson off, let's have a little listen to our Eye of the Tiger music. And let's have a little look around the website. So this is what the website looks like. Let's just rejog our memories because I think it'll probably be a couple of weeks since a few of you have actually played on it. So I'll just show you each of the features of the website so that you can have a play and use the site over the next couple of weeks. So when you log in, this is what your page will look like. So we'll start with the garage. So when you click on the garage, you can see the times tables that you've selected or that I've set for you to do. And then for every correct answer, you get 10 points or 10 coins. You play this one on your own. So when you click on play, this is what it looks like. It counts down for you and then you can start to play. So it will show you a question and then you can either type your answer or hit the buttons um, to show me your answer and then press enter. And then as you are going through it, it will tell you how um, how quickly you are working and where you are on the times table rock star scale. So if you just like I did then, if you were spotting that um, just as I did, then I actually made a mistake. So you can delete your answers and you can change them. You can use your numeric keypad on the computer or you can click the answers in here. So if I just show you this way as well, you can actually click the answers and click enter. Can you see on the right hand side here how I've managed to get up to support act because of the speed at which I'm answering the questions? So we'll just finish off there with 10 seconds to go. It's just counting down. I'll finish the last few questions as we are talking and then um, we will see what happens. So it will give you your results in five seconds and it tells you how many you got right, which I got 18 right, how many you got incorrect and how quickly you were working on those questions. So the aim is then that you play it again, you try and get more correct and you try to make your speed go a little bit quicker. So that is the garage. When you click on the next one, the studio is actually quite tricky because it's tw up to 12 times 12. But when you click on it, you play it on your own and you get one coin per correct answer. But it tells you your rock speed here. So my current rock speed is at Rockstar and I'm going to try and get further up my rock speed. And it also tells you your recent studio games and how many you scored. So again, you're aiming to move up the rock speed and increase your score. When you hit play this time, I'm not going to play this one, but excuse me, when you hit play this time, it will count you down. And again, you get exactly the same box, exactly the same guitar. And for the speed, every time you um, increase your speed, you will move up the guitar. And again, you get 60 seconds for this one. So that one is the studio. And the final one on the single player is the sound check. Now the sound check is 25 questions and you get six seconds in which to answer it. So for each correct answer, you get five coins in your for your avatar and um, it's against yourself and against the clock. So when you hit play this time, it will count you down. But what you will see instead is you will see the question and you have got this at the top and it's counting down every time to tell you. So I've just missed that question because I was talking to you. All right. So this time it's nine times eleven. So we put the answer in and we've got to try and beat it. If we beat it, we get a green mark. If we don't beat it or we get the answer wrong, we get a red mark. So you'll see, I think I've probably just missed that one. So I've got another red mark, but we'll answer this one. Oh, I've made a mistake. So I'll just delete that one. So we've got that question right. And again, it's against the clock. So you need to go as quickly as you possibly can to answer all these 25 questions across the top. If you want to invert it, you can change your... Um, calculate around as well if that makes it a little bit easier. So when we go on to the festival, the festival this time is against the world. So all of these festivals are here. We've just missed that festival. So that one's gone. This festival, the rock killed, is starting in nine seconds. So when we click on that one, you can play against the world. 
Um, so you're just doing your scores against everybody else that's joined this one here. So we'll count down in five seconds again. And then you type your answer exactly the same as we have done. But these are the people from around the world who are answering exactly the same questions that you are. So you can see how well you are doing with all these other players from around the world. So you just answer your questions there and then you get your rock status. Arena is a little difficult because that's something we need to set up in class. So don't worry about playing on the arena, but let's have a go at Rock Slam. So Rock Slam is where I can challenge you. So yesterday I actually set a challenge for you to have a go at. So when you get onto this page, you will see that you have got a challenge here and it was set by, my, by me. Have a go and see if you can beat me. And then if you want to challenge somebody or you want to challenge a teacher, you can select their name and send the challenge to them. So if you send me a challenge, I will have a really good go at trying to beat your answers. And then we will challenge each other and see who's getting the most correct. Have fun on Times Table Rockstars. If you manage to move up in the rankings and get a new rock status, please let me know um, because we can add you to our class Hall of Fame. So have lots of fun, practice those times tables and do a brilliant job. today's lesson we're going to be answering problems linked to fractions so we've worked on our fractions all week this week and you've done such an amazing job and sent through some really really brilliant work and um, linked to fractions so this week to, uh, sorry today we're going to be looking at problems linked to fractions so we're first of all we're going to start off by heading to Morrison's so Morrison's is having a sale and all its items are half price so here is a picture of all of the items in Morrison's and they're having a sale and they are all half price. So the first thing I want you to have a go at doing in today's lesson is to have each of those numbers. So I've popped three on the board here for you but challenge yourself and see if you can find half of 12p, half of 30p, half of 8p, half of 24p, half of 14p and half of 6p and then see if you have got the correct answers. So just to start us off and to remind ourselves, because it has been a few days since we've done this, we're going to start with half of 12. So to answer this question, we need to draw our bar model to start with. So I'm just going to draw it very quickly. I'm going to go all the way down and across and back up again. And then I'm going to split it in half along here. Okay, now at the top, as we know from our work this week, we need to put our whole number. So I'm just going to drag that down and pop it in there. And then because I am finding a half, I only need to split my bar in half. Okay, and then I'm going to share my half. So I have got, in fact, we'll pop red on so it's easier to see. So we're going to share those 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. We're going to stop there because 12 was our whole number. We are finding one part of that fraction because it says one half. So I'm going to circle one half and then I can count the counters that are in that one half and my answer is in fact six. Well done. So I would like you to, when I finish speaking, stop the film, have a go at half of eight and then half of six and then answer the rest of the questions for Morrison's and see how you get on with their half price sale. Our video hasn't finished there, so once you've answered all those questions, come back again and we will move on to the next set of questions. So how did you get on with answering those questions? Let's have a look and see if you have got them right. So first of all, half of 12 equals half of 24 equals 12 well done if you've got those ones right we've got half of 6p equals 3p half of 12 14p equals 7p and the last one half of 30p equals 15p so well done if you've managed to get those right so we've finished at morrison's now I'm going to head over to a toy shop this time and the toy shop is having a sale as well. So Smith's Toys is having a sale 
And again, all of its items have a fraction off this time. So it's not just a half, it's a fraction off. So there's a, a certain amount taken away from each of those amounts. So have a go at these questions here. So one third of 12, one quarter of eight, and one sixth of 24 pence, and see if you can find the correct answer. So let's work through the first one together. So we have got here one third of 12. So I've created the bar model. I'm going to put my whole number into the box at the top here, and then I'm going to share my 12. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And because I'm trying to find one third, I'm going to circle my one third, which is here, and my answer is four pence. So four pence is how much is reduced by, so the, the cost of the item has reduced by four pence. Excellent, well done everybody. So we're going to have a look at this one. Okay, so we're going to find a quarter of eight pence this time. So here's my bar model, and we're going to share the eight pence. So, oh, Mrs. Wood has forgotten a step. Who can think what that step might be? If you thought, hang on a minute, Mrs. Wood, you've not put your whole number in your bar model, you would be absolutely right. I forgot to pop my 8p in there. So we'll just pop 8p in there, and then we're going to carry on. So we're going to share the 8 pence between the bar model. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're finding 1 quarter of 8. So I will circle my 1 quarter of 8 and it is reduced by two pence. Well done, everybody. So the cost of that item, which is the rocket here, is reduced by two pence. So if we've taken two pence off the cost of that rocket, what should the rocket now cost in the Smith's toy sale? Tell a grown up at home and see if you've got the right answer. If you said that the rocket will be six pence, then you have got the answer right. Well done, everybody. Right, final question. So we're going to look at one sixth of 24. So here's my bar model again. I won't forget to pop that whole number in my bar model to start with. And then we're going to share 24. So I'll just pop my um, counters on. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Just before we move on to work out the answer for this one, you can now see from this question why it's really important to make sure your bars are all equal. Because here we have a large bar in the middle here, but a very small bar at the end and I've had to squeeze my counters in. So just make sure your bars are equal. So the answer to one sixth of 24 is in fact four pence. So if your item costs 24p and you're taking away four pence from it, how much would your item cost? And the answer would be, I can hear you all shouting it at the uh, screens, it would be 20 pence. Well done, everybody. That is the reduced cost in the Smith sale. So you're going to head over to the website and answer some questions where you have got a problem and you have got a fraction to work out the answer to that problem. The um, red team, orange team, just click the link to answer the questions and everybody else your questions there. Have fun and send them through to me so I can see how well you've done.